For 0.25 billion years ago, something colossal slammed into the moon's far side, leaving behind a scar so massive, it's visible from space. For decades, scientists could only guess when this cataclysm happened. But now, thanks to China's Chang'e 6 mission and just a handful of lunar soil, we finally have a definitive answer. In this video, we'll uncover how researchers cracked one of lunar science's oldest mysteries and why this discovery reshapes everything we thought we knew about planetary history. The South Pole, Aiken Basin, or SBA Basin, isn't just another crater on the moon. It's a monster. Roughly 2,500 kilometers across and over 8 kilometers deep, it's one of the largest and oldest known impact scars in the entire solar system. But for all its size and significance, there's been one big problem. No one knew exactly when it formed. Before the Chang'e 6 mission, all age estimates were educated guesses. Scientists relied on crater counting techniques, basically looking at how pockmarked the surrounding surface was to estimate age. Others studied lunar meteorites or samples from NASA's Apollo missions, but those only told stories about the moon's near side. The SBA basin is on the far side, the one we never see from Earth, and it's been completely unexplored. Until now. This is where China's Chang'e 6 mission comes in like a plot twist in a lunar detective story. In 2024, the mission landed in the Apollo basin, a region nestled within the massive SBA impact zone. And more importantly, it brought samples back to Earth. For the first time in history, we got our hands on actual material from the moon's far side, right from the heart of its oldest crater. These weren't just any rocks. They were fragments of a geological crime scene. Over billions of years, the SBA basin had been battered by secondary impacts, volcanic eruptions, and space weathering. But buried within the lunar soil were clues, tiny mineral grains that formed during the original impact. If scientists could find them and date them, they could finally pinpoint the moment this ancient wound was inflicted on the moon. So why does this crater matter so much? Because the SBA impact didn't just leave a mark on the moon, it shaped how we understand planetary history. So what exactly did scientists find in those long-awaited samples from Chang'e 6? Turns out, a lot more than just dust. From only 5 grams of lunar soil, researchers carefully selected over 1,600 fragments, each larger than 200 microns. They weren't just grabbing whatever they saw, this was surgical. Out of all those tiny pieces, they identified 20 fragments of a rock type called norite, a mineral-rich rock often linked with ancient impact events. But this wasn't just regular norite. These fragments were something new. Based on their textures, chemical compositions, and crystalline structures, scientists realized they were looking at impact melt rocks. Fragments that had once been molten due to an enormous collision. These were named South Pole Aiken norites, or spans for short. And they held the key to solving the age-old mystery. To get the precise age, researchers zeroed in on microscopic zircon crystals embedded in the spans. Zircon is like nature's time capsule. When it forms, it locks in a radioactive isotope of lead, which decays over time. By measuring the ratio of isotopes in the crystal, scientists can calculate exactly when that mineral cooled and solidified. And the results? Two distinct impact events popped out, one at 3.87 billion years ago, and another, even older one at 4.25 billion years ago. The latter, based on its depth and chemical evolution patterns, was unmistakably linked to the original SBA impact. But how did they know these rocks weren't from another crater? The team compared them to both remote sensing data and large-scale compositional maps of the moon's far side. These spans matched material found deep in the inner ring of the SBA basin, nowhere else. That meant these rocks likely formed from the massive melt pool created during the SBA impact itself. Even more impressively, the study found that the grain sizes and chemical evolution of these spans varied systematically, suggesting they crystallized at different depths within the same ancient magma pool, a frozen fingerprint of the colossal event. Now that we know exactly when the SBA basin formed, it's time to ask, so what? Well, dating the SBA impact isn't just about understanding one crater. It's about recalibrating the timeline of everything else in our corner of the universe. This crater has now become a benchmark, an anchor point in the chaotic timeline of early solar system formation. For decades, scientists believed that a global thermal event, some kind of dramatic heating across the moon, occurred around 4.33 to 4.35 billion years ago, 
possibly linked to the SBA impact. But this new data from Chang'e 6 shatters that idea. The SBA impact came later, meaning the thermal event had a different cause entirely. That's a major shift in our understanding of the Moon's early evolution. But here's where things get even more exciting. Planetary scientists rely on impact dating to understand how the surfaces of planets formed and changed. But here's the problem. Most of our dating is based on samples from the Moon's near side, which was sampled during the Apollo era. The far side remained a mystery until now. The fact that the SBA samples gave an age consistent with existing near-side impact models tells us something huge. The impact flux, the rate at which objects were slamming into the moon, was likely similar on both sides. That's a big confirmation, and it helps scientists build more reliable models for other planets, including Mars and Mercury. This single age, 4.25 billion years, helps tie together a tangled web of theories about early planetary impacts. It also strengthens the hypothesis that the solar system went through a particularly violent period, what's sometimes called the late heavy bombardment, where massive impacts were reshaping planetary surfaces everywhere. And remember, these findings aren't just useful for lunar scientists. By using SBA as a kind of cosmic zero point, planetary geologists can now better estimate the ages of other features across the solar system. But this discovery does more than just refine our understanding of the moon. It reshapes how we think about planetary evolution across the entire solar system. If the SBA impact occurred later than previously believed, it raises new questions about what else might have been happening in that critical window of time. Were there more massive impacts shaping planetary surfaces than we realized? And if the Moon's impact history needs to be re-evaluated, what does that mean for other planets like Mars, Venus, and even Earth? With the far side of the moon now yielding insights that match near side models, we gain confidence that our methods of dating planetary surfaces are on the right track. But it also highlights the need for more samples, more missions, and more exploration. Because every rock, every crater, and every age measurement helps us piece together the larger story of how our cosmic neighborhood came to be. This discovery is more than just another lunar milestone. It's a game changer for planetary science. With just five grams of dust and a whole lot of precision, Chang'e 6 has helped scientists date the moon's most ancient crater, anchor a key point in our solar system's history, and rewrite parts of lunar evolution. It proves the power of sample return missions and shows how far we've come in understanding our closest celestial neighbor. And as more missions, Chinese, American, and beyond aim for the moon, we're entering a new era of discovery one that's built not just on big rockets, but on tiny crystals and billion-year-old scars. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.